In this video we're going to go over availability which is ensuring that the users we want to have access to the database have continuous access to the database. So if I were to ask you is 99% availability good enough? Some of you may say yes and some of you may say no. But the answer is really it depends. So for my personal website it doesn't matter if it goes down for an hour a week because it doesn't really affect me that much. Whereas Amazon if it goes down for a minute that could result in tens of thousands of dollars lost in sales. So let's look at this availability chart where we see the availability at 99% all the way up to 99.999%. We can see that in a given year this would result in this amount of downtime. So let's say 5,256 minutes of downtime in a single year or equivalent to 87.6 hours of downtime. Assuming the cost of $10,000 per hour of downtime, you can see that it starts to add up really quick. Now, $10,000 is a small amount of downtime for an hour for, for a company such as Amazon. We can imagine that it results in a lot higher loss than $8 million. So what we need to consider, is it worth upgrading our availability? So as you can see here from moving from 99% to 99.5% we decrease the cost by four million dollars. However how much does it actually cost us to, to improve our equipment so that we can reduce that? That's what we need to compare is that cost benefit analysis. So what I want you to do is try this activity on your own. So assume that a computer sales company has a cost of four thousand two hundred fifty dollars for every minute of downtime. They currently have 99.99% availability and want to increase it to have an extra 9 on their availability. They expect the cost would be uh, $15,000 per month and then I want you to determine if it is worth the upgrade based on this chart. So assuming this amount of minutes of downtime. So go ahead and pause the slide and then try this on your own and then come back to compare your answer. Alright, welcome back. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the four minutes of downtime, multiply it by the $4,250 that it would cost us for uh, the downtime. And we're going to do that for both the 99.99% of availability and the 99.999% availability. And then we're going to get our totals here. So I'm going to open up my nifty little calculator. I'm going to do four times four thousand two hundred fifty dollars and that gives us seventeen thousand dollars is going to be how much it will cost us a year at this availability and then I'm gonna do the same for the other I'm gonna do 44 times four thousand two hundred fifty and I get one hundred eighty seven thousand dollars and then I also need to calculate how much it would cost to upgrade so that's gonna be twelve times fifteen thousand dollars which is going to be hundred and eighty thousand dollars. So what I'm going to do is subtract the difference between these and that's how much I'm going to save. So I'm going to save a hundred and seventy thousand dollars. So it's going to cost me a hundred seventy thousand dollars less. But the cost to increase the system is going to be a hundred and eighty thousand dollars. So it's going to be a net positive of ten thousand dollars that it's going to cost me to upgrade the system. So based on this one year alone, it's not going to be worth the cost to upgrade the system.